Hello everyone, welcome back to Tag It. So I want to thank everyone for the number of subscriptions I've had in the last few days. It's rocketed somehow. Um, I don't know what I've done to do that, but thank you everyone for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to continue with the uh, sorting machines and pneumatic tubes. So I've got a few things we need. Uh, 64 sand and 64 coal. I'm just going to use 64 because you know it's just a nice amount. But we can probably, you know, divide that up. Um, and then a bit for the alloy furnace to power it as well. I've got that like, cable, I don't need that. Um, I've put the desk in here, it just looks quite nice, I don't know why, but there you go. And I'll show you how to make this stuff. So we're finally going to use the alloy furnace. So we're going to power it with some coal. It'll be fine for now. We'll look at the uh, other methods of power later on. Um, but we're going to put some sand in and some coal. This will cook together to make us some uh, silicon balls. And they used to make wafers. So there's one. Uh, we'll get quite a few of these, so I will. Well, actually, we don't need that many because we're going to ch chop them up, so two will do. Two is fine. Quite uses all of that, so yes. Um, then we're going to combine these together with the diamond handsaw. That will give us 16 wafers each, so that's 32. Uh, now we're going to put this with some redstone. Oh, don't drop that. And I found the talisman of repair, by the way. I somehow, I don't know why, I was looking for um, like a Mobius kind of colour thing. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah. I, sorry guys for that. <laughs> um, so we're going to take some redstone and combine these together in the alloy furnace. Um, and that will cook up to make us a red doped wafer or doped wafer. So let's get a few of these. We're going to need three in total, I believe. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, three of those. So that's good. Take that out. That's enough for now. Uh, okay, and then what we're going to do is grab ourselves some things to make a piston. So pistons are relatively straightforward. Piece of iron, redstone, four, uh, three planks, four cobble. So let's get a bit of iron. Now we're going to take some nickelite as well. We're going to use that in a minute. Uh, some planks. And then back like the old recipe we haven't used for quite a while actually. Three planks. Balls need coal. <laughs> I must remember to use the, uh, you know, the extra running thing. So it speeds everything up. Um, right, let's try this again. Three planks on the top. Cobble down the sides. Piece of redstone at the bottom. There's a seagull outside. Shut the hell up. And then a bit of uh, ingot in, uh, in there. In the middle. Uh, so let's put this in the project bench, just because it uh, keep things in there for now. Uh, then we're going to put some cobble uh, at the bottom corners, and then along the top, we're going to put one of the wafers below the piston, and we're going to get two pieces of gold um, to go below that to go in the spare slots. I should have a bit here. I can uh, put the quarry on now. I did move it, and this is the actual second attempt at the start of this video because my computer was backing up, so it's lagging like hell. Um, but that should uh, start going again. Yeah, that's cool. I've put a few gold pipes along as well, spat then, <laughs> to um, speed up the process. So that can carry on. Okay, uh, so now we've got the gold, we can put that in the remaining slots. Oops. 
to make ourselves a filter. Now we use the filter in conjunction with some iron and the other red uh, wafers we've got. So first thing we need to do before that is to make some blue alloy ingots. These are really, really, really simple. Alloy furnace, a uh, piece of iron, so let's put three, and then some nickelite. These four pieces. Is it refined iron or normal iron? I, think, I believe it's normal iron. Uh, silver, sorry. Herp derp. What do I think it was iron? You know, silver and iron are very similar looking in the basic texture pack. Uh, silver. Oh. No, like on the hops front as well with the beer. Very slow. So that will make us a blue alloy ingot. Ding! It's a very nice colour as well. Now in blueberry. <laughs> um, so we can now make our sorting machine. Now that that is iron. So iron goes along the top, and in the left and right bottom corner, the blue alloy ingot in the middle. Filter dead in the centre, and then the two wafers either side makes us a sorting machine. Now. Uh, sorting machines are, you know, pretty technical compared to the other kind of stuff we use. So you need to have a chest where you sort the items, which we can say so we'll use um, this chest here. And then things will go from there down through the pipes. Um, I think what we'll do is probably make another layer that we can just, you know, do a demo on that. So what I'll do is I'll stop here. I'm going to make another room below this just so you can all see how this works with a lot of space you know because it can probably get quite cramped once you start make, making the tubes as well so uh, I'll be back in a second and of course what other you know it just wouldn't be complete without a glass floor to fit along with the other the other one so I'll just fit and do this as well uh, so now we've got to make the pneumatic tubes very simple very very simple Unlike the buildcraft tubes, where we use um, glass, gold glass, these ones require glass. No, <laughs> all the way around. So you usually do this to make a buildcraft pipe. Okay, but what we do with this one is we have glass. Let me find it. Uh, gold. Hmm. Brass ingot, sorry. Derp. Derp, derp. Um, now, unlike using brass in you know the way we used to do it, by making it out of ingots, you've got to do it the red power way. So we need some uh, copper, some tin. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> tin. Copper. We put these together in. The the uh, furnace it's a ratio of three copper to one tin that will cook up and give us four brass ingots now you'll see what I'll show you in a second they look slightly different a slightly different in color with uh, the Buildcraft ones. So, bronze, brass. So, you know, I don't know why I thought it was brass. I don't know. Bronze, who knows? Who knows, guys? Who knows? So, that should be done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we managed to get away with that. Um, okay, so now we need to put these in the crafting table. So, it's brass ingots. Either side of some glass. That gives us eight. So we've got 32 pneumatic tubes. If we go down to the bottom. Now, this is how we're going to set it up. So if we make ourselves a table, crafting bench, just have down here, we'll make ourselves a chest. 
Okay, then we're going to put the sorting machine down. And you'll see these, these two lines. What you need to do is make a screwdriver, uh, which I'll show you now. Uh, it's so basic to make, you can do it in, in your normal uh, inventory. It's just iron and uh, a stick. Uh, then you you know, you know, can right click to, sh to change the, the way it faces. We want it that way around. Um, I believe, is it that way? I think so, yeah. And then you, pneumatic tubes come out. And what you can do is you can have three different... Uh, where's the rending gear? Let's put that in my hotbar. You can stack these like this. And then what you can do is assign... Oh, I think it's that way. I can't really quite remember which way it goes around. Um, you can... Yeah, you can use dye, I believe it is, to change the colour of these tubes. Um, I just need to find where it is. Uh, so yeah, if we make three more chests. Just move this around a little bit. So, the way this works is it will go to the, the nearest place first. Okay. Um, always, you know, fill this area in first. Unless what you do is you define what you want to happen. So you right click without the screwdriver, otherwise it will you'll turn the face. And then you can assign the colour. You know, of what, uh, what you want it to do. Okay. And then it will go to that, that, kind, of, that kind of chest. You do need to sort uh, the chests out first. Let's make these look a bit more... Better. Um, and these, by the way, these are also, you can jump onto blocks that are higher as well with these tubes, with the red, uh, red power tubes rather than the Billcroft ones, but you can't, so it's always good. Um, so I just need to check one thing. There's one thing I'm not so sure about. I just need to uh, verify before I continue. Okay, so um, the way you power this, you can do it with a sequencer uh, or redstone. The best thing to do is make a timer. We'll have to cover this in the next episode because there's quite a few things you need to do to use it. Um, but we can do with the the chests to assign the colour. You need to make a paintbrush. Now, this uh, we need some wool. Have we got any? There's a bit. We need to change. We need to get a bit of wool. Let's get a load. There we go. Um, so what we need to do is to dye the wool uh, a different colour. So we've got red. What else? Is there any here we've got? Uh, flower. We can use that for yellow. Um, if we had some cactus, we can make another one. Um, but what you do is you make your coloured walls. Okay. So we've got green, red. There's too much stuff in my in my hot bar. So we've got uh, yeah, yellow, red, and white. And then you combine those with a stick. Uh, where's my crafting table? Let's go up top. So we've got loads of sticks now because we made them a minute ago. Stick and then red. Because you paintbrush. Uh, it's not showing the colour. I'm not sure why. It should do. 0308. I'm just checking the codes. 0308. It's all showing the same. It's a bit strange. Okay, okay. It's just a glitch, apparently. Apparently, it's just like a thing that happens. Um, 
So if we take these different ones, I have to try and remember which they are. So that should be red, yellow, and then white. And then you right click on the pipe, I believe. Uh, uh, hmm. This is a bit, a little bit bugged, I think. Let's have a look. Paint. This is what we need. The colours. I don't know why it's doing that. So if I red, uh, yellow, and white. Right. So I'm going to show you now. I don't know why I did that. So you can paint the tubes. Okay, and now what you do is uh, right click on this. We're going a little bit over the time, but it's not a problem. And then you assign what you want. So white, so say we want coal to go to white. Uh, then we say we want redstone to go to yellow. And cobble to go into red that's fine red be careful when you do this otherwise it will just go round and round um change the method to oh crikey I can't... crikey i think it's that one yeah so that that way if there's not if nothing goes you know there's nothing uh the chests are full rather it'll come back and go back into the sorting machine rather than just spewing everywhere that's one thing uh, Bluecraft Pipes do that this doesn't. Um, so that's the end for this episode. Sorry it's been a bit, um, you know, lack of knowledge with this. I haven't used it too much, so I'm still a bit um, unsure about what we're doing with this. But I will uh, read up on it in the next episode. We'll uh, have a little bit of fun with it. Make a timer as well. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you all next time.